Hey everyone, um, let's hope this works this time. I'm going to try to keep it much shorter. I'm, I have to keep it to like 15 minutes or less. So here we go. This is Dawn Potter's image. She shoots with an R5, a Canon R5, um, one of the new mirrorless. Um, <clears throat> just to really quick explain to you what these color, the, what the purpose of these color profiles are. Um, I don't know if many of you know, but you can change your color profile. I know a lot of people know this, but I also have had a lot of questions on what they are. So this, this is to help answer that question. Um, the, the default right now for both LR and a Lightroom and ACR camera raw, um, same programs, honest to God, they're the same thing except for just different. They just look different. They display different. Um, but the default is Adobe, Adobe color. Okay. So you can change those just by clicking through. Okay. Of the Adobe one standard is probably my favorite. Um, so those are the ones that just come with the program. The ones that I am offering now, the color science collection, um, you will need to browse. So you just go here, you can go all the way down to browse or you can just click this. Okay, same, looks the same in Lightroom. Um, go down to browse or just click the squares right over here. Okay, um, and then in Lightroom, I it will automatically open the ones that you last used in Photoshop. When you hit browse, it's going to default to opening their Adobe ones. Um, so just go down and click on Kinderbella color profiles after you've installed them. Um, so right now she has Adobe standard on. This is a Sony file, just so you know. Um, I'm going to click my 03 because I do love, that's one of my favorites. And I think it's one, honestly, that has worked on every single file that I have. So that's nice. Um, so I'm just going to click on that just for the sake of showing you right now. And then the only thing that you're, that you may need to even change is just bringing up your exposure or adjusting your, um, temp and tint and your white balance. So, and that's a lot of that is personal preference. So I personally like to adjust my white balance before I even select a color file profile because of course that's going to change the look of them completely but let's just give you a quick before and after this is just a color profile um, of kbp03 on a sony file okay um, i'll just show you the difference between mine and then the adobe standard so you can see there is quite a bit of difference there um, mine does a little bit more work, honestly, if I'm, if I, if it, if this was my image, I would just apply this and bring it into Photoshop because it really doesn't need much more, um, than that. And then I do some skin work and whatever other artistic editing I'd like to do on the background or fades or this or that, and that's it. Um, so it keeps it pretty simple. Let's jump back into Lightroom. I'm, I'll just try to keep it fair because I know a lot of people use Lightroom. A lot of people use ACR. Um, like I said, it's the same in both. Um, this is Don Potter's image, as I said. I do love 03 on her work. I haven't even adjusted her temp and tint yet, so I'm going to do that. I think it is a little magenta. I like it right around here. Um, and I might brighten it a little bit, not much, doesn't really need much brightening. So that's 03 before and after. Um, let's also do, she mentions that she likes 11, which I also like. It definitely brightens it a little bit. So I'm going to pull the exposure back down, but that's beautiful too. It's like a one click wonder. So you don't, these are color profiles. They are different than presets because you can see they're not adjusting anything in here which is kind of nice because what it's doing is giving you a base right from the start. And say, for example, you want to add a little bit more contrast um, or take the highlights down a little bit after that, you can still go ahead and make these fine tuning adjustments in here. Um, maybe you want to just pull the whites down a little bit. Um, 
For me, when I add contrast, I really like to use the deep haze butt slider. <laughs> I just really like it. It kind of saturates the shadows a little bit more than just using the contrast, and I like that. Um, and adversely, if you want to soften your image even more, say for example, we applied one that looks a little bit um, punchy right away on hers, you can adjust from there as well. You can go ahead and take your dehaze and slide it the opposite way and you will be able to soften that up quite a bit. So this is KBP02 which is personally my favorite because it really retains the reds um, but only in all the right places like on the cheeks and the lips and I, I like those to look warm and full of life. So um, that one's my favorite and it usually applies a little odd. I'll show you an example. Um, this is a, uh, also I think this is an R6, um, Canon R6 right here. I like the temp and tint. I don't see anything issue. I think it could be brightened up a little bit. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just brighten it a bit and then I'm going to go in here and I am going to apply my favorite one, which is going to look a little bit um, dingy right away, okay? Um, but just bear with me here. I, I love the color that this one gives off. So, because uh, it doesn't completely make the subject void of color. All you have to do when you use that one, you're typically going to pull your exposure up more than you would without it. Um, and then you also might want to pull up your blacks a little bit. I would on this one just because of, of the way the light's falling on her. And then I'm going to pull my dehaze to the left to soften it a little bit more. Another thing that you can do is pull the clarity to the left to soften it even more as far as the skin goes. You're not going to lose um, sharpness when you're doing that with the clarity. You can see, I'll just turn it, click it off here. It just really does a little bit of skin smoothing. Um, without losing any detail of the image. Um, obviously, if you went all the way to the left with the clarity, it would be way too much, but you, we're keeping it light and easy. So this before and after right here is definitely a favorite, and that's with O2. Um, I'm going to hit reset here just to apply O3 on it. And just show you, I mean, that you don't really need to do anything but apply it and pull up the exposure. And if you do want to get have it a little bit more contrasty, I, as I just told you, I would mess with that dehaze button a little bit. Um, also, if ever you want to add more color or saturation, just use your overall saturation right down here. Um, it works beautifully for that. And you don't have to worry about messing with or you know, playing guessing games with all of these other panels when you use these color profiles um, as they're intended to be used. Um, so that is, so we've done a Canon R5, R6. Let's go ahead and do, this is a Nikon Z6 file right here. Make sure it's reset, yep. Um, let's go ahead and again, it defaults to Adobe Color. And I am going to, I love O3 on this. Like I said, O3 works on everything. I also really, really, really like O5. Um, now, as I t just told you about O2, it looks a little punchy when you put it on there. It is one of my favorites, though. In the opposite end, O6 sometimes on some images is going to make it look a little too bright and a little too desaturated. But let's say that you like the overall tone of it that it gives. Let's go ahead and select that and I can show you how to easily adjust that. Um, I'm not even going to mess with exposure. I'm going to go again right down to dehaze and I'm going to pull that to the right. And it's going to take some of that haziness away and add back a little bit more color in the shadow. Um, and then I'm also going to go to saturation and then just pull that up a little bit because I want to add a little bit more punch to the skin, a little bit more color. Um, and I might pull that highlight down just a little bit. And that to me is a beautiful before and after. And in the beginning when I first clicked on the KBP06, it did look a little bit too desaturated. Easily, easy, easy, easy adjustments right in the basic panel. Um, I tried to make these profiles so that that is all that you would have to do in the event you did want to make some changes other than just the one click. However, I'm sure you'll be able to find some that are one click for you. 
Um, but if they're not, I, you know, these, these tips will definitely help you in that um, aspect. And I, I'll just show you the, the black and white right now because I love the black and white. And that would be really all you need to do. Um, but again, you can go back into the basic panel and pull up shadows or whatnot. Um, so I already showed you the Sony and ACR. I am going to do, this is a, one of Don Potter's old files, so I'm pretty sure this is a Mark III. Um, when, at the time frame that she had sent this to me, I had to dig through some old files to get, um, actually let me double check that. I am going to go ahead and pull that down, the temp down a little bit, but that looks really good. I'll probably pull the exposure up a tish. Um, so these all look really beautiful. The Mark III, I swear, if we could just bottle up the color in that camera. But see, the 06 really suits her because she had, um, this gal had a little bit of jaundice going on. So it didn't suck out all of the, the reds, but it did take away a lot of the yellow, okay? That was just naturally there. You can see she is quite jaundiced. So six will really pull a lot of that out. And like I said, you can add back, let's, let's go ahead and choose that. And I'm going to show you how just by pulling with, we took the yellow out. So the only things that are left is the, the redness. So when we pull up the saturation, it's really just going to saturate a lot of the reds in there. Okay. And we can even add some contrast with, with whatever we want. We can definitely pull that clarity down a little bit to soften. Um, but it's a great, great tool. And then if you do, like she is really yellow, I would probably come down and, you know, mess with that a little bit more as well if I wanted to fine tune it. Um, but to me, that's a beautiful start right into Photoshop skin edits. Um, okay, so that is an older version of Canon. And I have a Mark IV. I shoot with a, a Mark IV as well. Um, I did just get the R6, which I've been shooting with primarily. Um, but these do work on the, the Mark IV, um, just so that you all know. This file is, I think, the same as the other. Let's do this one. This is a Nikon. Um, let's go ahead and go in here and grab, sorry, you guys, let me switch over. I really like one on this one because it doesn't, uh, you know, change his skin tone too much. It keeps it true to life, but it just cleans it up a little bit and adds a little bit of matte. Um, 03, of course, beautiful on him. Some of these, after I use them, I'd probably brighten them a little bit. 7 is actually really nice. That's a very nice, clean adjustment. 11 is a little warm for him. 16 through 13. Loving the black and white. I think I would choose seven for this one. And then I'd brighten him up a little bit and maybe make some other softening adjustments just to bring out his little face. Super cute image. This is Rachel Farganis. She sent this to me a long time ago, but she is a Sony shooter now. So um, I had to dig through files to get... This is also a Nikon, an older Nikon beautiful image. I cannot remember who sent this to me. I'd have to dig and look it up, but it's a gorgeous image. Obviously beautifully lit, straight out of camera. Um, the profile that is, uh, again, default for Lightroom and ACR is Adobe Color. Um, not my favorite. I think we can do better with KDP03 for sure. I really like it on this one. Um, 5 is also really nice. Seven looks nice. You know, all of this is style. Depend, 11 is beautiful. All of it just really depends on what style you're going for. Okay, what is your style? Um, that really cleans up the whites if you want to go for more of a white look. And again, the black and white. So I'm just kind of previewing these for you. And there's that two that looks punchy right away. But remember what I said. Let's click on it. Close. We're going to pull that exposure up. I am going to pull the dehaze down until it gets a little bit softer and maybe even a little bit of the clarity. 
and that's it. That's all you need to do to make two work if you like the color in it and if you want to really retain those those reds, which I do. I love the reds. Babies are na have natural redness in it. They, in my opinion, they should not all be removed. Um, and then I just had somebody send me a 1D, a Canon 1D. So let's have a peek together at how those looked. Let me, oops, let's go ahead and, that was not what I wanted. Just want to get her zoomed in a little bit more. Okay, so let's go ahead. Here's 01, 2, which I really like. I am going to show you that alone. 3 is obviously a one-click wonder. 4, 5, also beautiful. 6 is a little too desaturated for me, but remember what I told you you can do if you like how it looks tonally otherwise. I like seven. Let's zoom out so we can see how the backdrop changes. Eight is really nice on this too, actually. That one's like perfect. Um, nine, 10 is another one where you're gonna have to adjust, go in and uh, play with it a little bit. 11 is beautiful, makes it look really nice and soft. This is Don Potter's favorite one again. I would probably just go in and add a little behave because I think it softened it a little too much. That's beautiful. That's perfect, ready to go, you're done. So yes, I'm gonna add this camera body to the list as well. I hope this video has helped you guys. I'm going to cut myself off so that I can at least upload something. Um, in the meantime, if you guys have questions, ask in the group, I'll try to respond as quickly as I can. Um, you can also direct message me um, if you have any questions and hopefully you guys all find that these are very helpful for you. Let's go ahead before I leave on the way out. Let's just click on that black and white. Love it. I'll probably just pull up that exposure after hitting. Beautiful. All right. Thank you guys so much for sending me all of these variety of files over the past week and over the past years. They've really helped me to make all of these fun tools for you guys. Thanks again.